Hi there listeners and welcome to another episode of the Captain's Horror Meltdown. My name is Cammy and I'll be your captain on this journey and I'm joined as always by Dolly Parton. Oh, what? Oh no, I'm not, oh sorry, yeah, well, I should maybe t- t- I mean, try I, to explain what... I, I know I've got spectacular tits, but... it's. I'm joined by John, oh. um, who... Oh, it's a shame actually. Um, when we're on the ship has a little role to play usually, when we're off the ship... Is usually sort of flying some sort of machine or getting us to where we need to go. <laughs> uh, we are. This is a. This is the first time we've done a new strand. Mm. Uh, we've got a new strand here. Um, yeah, let's see how this works out for us. Is, uh, well, and what what we've done here is we've left the ship again, and we're going upstream. Oh, like a and salmon. We are, I, we are islands in this stream. Oh my god! <laughs> You're Dolly Parton. Oh my god! <laughs> I, I'm Kenny Rogers, Oof. and god. we're talking about uh, we're talking about a film that is currently streaming. Oh, Jesus Christ! Right, okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we, <laughs> I can we, tell it's been a slow day around the Cameron household. <laughs> <laughs> totally. Uh, we are. Uh, yes. No. We're going to have a little. Uh, well, both of us subscribe to Netflix. We did it. Uh, you actually, you've got Amazon Prime, don't you? Uh, yes, I do. Yes. Yeah, but uh, I think we're just going to generally start. Uh, Delvis was uh, jo- John came up with this, uh, and I fully support it. I think it's a great idea. We're going to delve cool. into. Now, I think. Are you, am I right in saying that your your thinking behind this was that? And this is something that I'm sure most people experience when mm-hmm. you you think, "Oh, I'm going to go to stick a film on Netflix." Yeah, and you put Netflix on. It's worse than being in an actual video shop back in the day. Oh, far, far worse. Like monumentally. There's so worse. much stuff to choose from, and the, the the other thing is, I quite often just tend to go for something that I know already. Yeah, yeah. Really, but as you pointed out, the horror section in particular on Netflix, absolutely rammed with films. Yeah, there's that you've got no idea what the fuck any of them are. Yeah, yeah totally. or how good they are, or what the crack is. So we might as well start delving into those a little bit and see what the crack is. So these yeah, aren't. My, uh, my these... thought was, I mean, I think my, my kind of theory behind it is, I mean, I, I mean, I don't know about you, but um, certainly I have. Uh, I, I still kind of add things to my watch list on Netflix. Yeah, um, I add things, but I never watch them. I think there's kind of no. a, a, a fear that I mean. <sighs> On the flip side, I always kind of want to see new stuff and be intrigued by new stuff. Yeah. But the the, the fear is that it's going to be a massive steaming pile of shit and I've just wasted a lot of my time. Um, yes. And also, I think we've been kind of watching films that we've... Je- like the vast majority of times we've seen before. Yes. Um, and we kind of know that we're probably going to enjoy them and say similar things about them because... Yeah. It's un- you know, uh, oh man, we must have uh, we could count our disagreements on probably one finger so far. I would imagine yeah, so far. Totally. Um, so whether we'll disagree on this, but I thought it'd be nice just to bring up uh, new stuff that we potentially, uh, and you know, and also I, I think I might even call it Netflix, so you don't have to to save you the pain. Yes, of potentially watching something that is a massive pile of shit. We will do it on your behalf, and we will yeah. warn you about it. <laughs> yeah, we'll t- we'll take one for the team. Yeah, collectively. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. No, uh, absolutely. And these are these are obviously separate from our chain. We will come back to the chain, uh, of yep. course, folks. Uh, and in fact, the next episode of the chain is a film that neither of us have seen. Uh, oh. Oh, you've maybe seen. Oh, I, I, I've yet to release. Uh, um, what does oh, right. pass? Um, oh, get ahead of myself again. Yeah, yeah. Let's just forget about that. <laughs> anyway, let's just yeah, let's just forget about that bit of chat. Um, so yeah, well, uh, since it was uh, your creation, mm. uh, you got to pick the first film yes. for our new Netflix. It's, it, it's one that's I've, I've, I've kind of you know we uh, certainly when you hover over the the films, it'll start playing little snippets from it. Yeah. Um, uh, I generally watch stuff in the PS3, but I guess it's PS4 rather. So I, I guess it's probably similar everywhere. Um, so this is one film that I've always kind of looked at. I've always been quite intrigued by it, but I've never been quite brave enough to hit that play button. 
Yeah. And usually go on to something else that seems like a pretty safe choice. Um, so this time around, I have gone for a film called Wounds. Yes. Um, which, uh, oof, let's see. I, I can't remember. Wounds 2019. Yeah. And so uh, pretty directed new. by Babak and Vary. Yeah. Um, who I've not seen his previous film. Um, but apparently it was very good. <laughs> Yeah, so, I think he's got a few films in the back. Under, under the um, Shadow, which... Under like, the Shadow is wow, the one that's list on this. 99% of Rotten Tomatoes for that one. Bloody well, hell. Under the Shadow? Yeah, holy shit. Fucking hell, you're having a laugh. That we'll, have is, to, well, we'll have to... Well, I'll have to look at that at some point, I guess. Uh, so that was a 2016... Uh, as I say, I've not seen that, I've not even seen a trailer for it. Um, no, but yeah, the, the, this yeah. trailer just kind of... I thought, uh, okay, this looks interesting. But I kind of thought the only way I'm going to actually ever get around to watching this is if I can coerce someone into doing it roughly at the same time yeah and and that was you and that was me <laughs> yeah, you, yeah you sung our it. in fact actually uh, it actually did really quite excite me this uh, idea of yours because I'm in exactly the same situation and as soon as you suggested this I went on and started looking at some other things and I, like yeah, just yeah, yeah. starting to go through it and I was like oh yeah there's a few things in here that I would quite like to check totally, out but totally. I have no idea and we've also we we've, we've, we've I've got experience like we've got a little um, a little sort of horror chat group on the go um, mm-hmm. and uh, with lots of the friends of the podcast and Stevie um, and um, <laughs> we <laughs> he, he still he he can't even play the fucking cassettes if we send them no no we need to I don't know what we need to give him next like a floppy madness, disc or something madness exactly <laughs> he's got no idea what a podcast is or that we do one anyway anyway uh, he uh, I mean we so quite often in that we have little sneaky little recommendations when someone comes across something that's quite good and there have been a few little gems have come out of Netflix on that yep totally I think you were the first one of us to watch uh, The Babysitter Mm-hmm. and then put everyone on to babysitter for example but, you know, but again that was that one that, I'd, that I'd, I'd seen there I, I probably saw it add it to my list and it sat there for a year yeah <laughs> was before like, you actually got around yeah, to doing it yeah so. so I mean there are things out there good and bad on Netflix uh, that are just sort of uh, get sort of sucked into there and put on there I think guess the, the equivalent of lots of the sort of straight to video stuff yeah that we used to get back in the day oh yeah that we yeah. just you know was never going to appear at a cinema and just got punted <laughs> straight into straight onto VHS and chucked in the, in the horror section of the video store absolutely there's quite often quite a lot of gems came out of that as well yeah yeah totally I mean you know, sometimes you struck gold and I think that's kind of that's pretty much the theory behind this is uh, I mean we're hoping for the best let's be honest and uh, we'll all ex- probably get the worst but that is the theory it's like <laughs> yeah. you know we're going to save you precious hours of your life by exactly. taking up precious hours of our lives but we're also, since we're uh, thinking that quite a lot of people wouldn't have seen these films, we're also we're going to we're, we're not going to go for any spoilers in these at all. No, we're, we're not going to go treat into it, the actual plot or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, we're going to treat it as a side mission, so but we don't want to give anything away just in case you do no. want to delve into that, and we don't want to screw it up for you. Um, so you can listen to these purely like you would read uh, a general review, I would imagine. Yeah. No, Hopefully. I'm going to. Uh, well, I'll, I'll get us started with the usual. Uh, oh yes, yes little sir. synopsis. Love it. Is it a letterbox? It's a letterbox synopsis. Yeah. Beautiful. Uh, here we go. Wins 2019. Disturbing and mysterious things begin to happen to a bartender in New Orleans after he picks up a phone left behind at his bar. Well, there you go. I mean, there's. I mean, just to get into it straight away, there is not much else to this film than that. No, I mean, there's no fat in that description. <laughs> no, no, that is. <laughs> the butcher has trimmed. <laughs> I mean, that, yep, that's a dry that right piece of meat as far as that description goes. That, totally. <laughs> Jesus, you, totally. wouldn't, you wouldn't roast that for you know that'd be a, oof, that'd be a very oh. short roast. You don't want oh, to leave be. that in the oven for you too don't long. Want it to dry out, no, absolutely not. <laughs> um, now, I mean, oh God, man. I I, so I have to say we had very different well, viewing experiences I think we, we should qual- <laughs> we should qualify both of these reviews by how we watched it uh, I right, watched it as, what as, as we usually to, yeah. do uh, I watched yeah. it on a projector with a few beers can be your experience was somewhat different yeah I watched it on the uh, the, the night train back from Birmingham to Carlisle <laughs> <laughs> uh, on my laptop right yeah 
Yeah, it's slightly but different. At least it wasn't uh, your phone, I guess. I suppose that's the. Uh... It was in the uh, in the quiet carriage. All oh, right, uh, but I could still hear lots of people talking loudly over my headphones. Oh, because oh, that's God, just that reminds me of the time standard that... thing in the quiet carriage, isn't it? Uh, well, I, I've never been in one. Um, I think what put me off. Um, I've never really thought about booking one, but what put me off is like Rachel was put in a. I think she just bought tickets for a train and was put in the quiet carriage. That's all. Yeah. Good, that's all good and well, but she was travelling with her two children. Um no. Yeah. No 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 no. It was that like, is no. Oh, that's that's an oversight. Um, G N E R or whatever the hell the fucking name was called. <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah, she really ruined a lot of people's journey that day. God. <laughs> and yeah, I think that I was imagine. down to London, so like a real heavy slog. Oh man. Oh, brutal. Yeah, on our way down on that journey at the start of the weekend, uh, down to Birmingham, um, a woman got on with a pram and a young baby. Oh, um, always a great sight. Uh, always a great sight, yep, totally. Yep. And she just got onto the quiet carriage just because it looked a bit emptier. So she just had oh, really? a bit more room. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, totally. And there was a guy opposite us on that journey who kept answering his phone. Really, I mean, the one thing it says not to do in those carriages is answer your phone. Says, and there's signs everywhere and it came over the town out over and over again if you've got to answer your phone go to another out of the carriage yeah. into the bit in the middle like like in between carriages sort of like uh, no this guy and just sort of having an inane conversations what no mate I'm on the train I'm on the train oh, nah, like nah, that. yeah there's nah, there's just fields and stuff just fields uh. and that no nah, <laughs> nah, I haven't seen I haven't seen anywhere built up for ages like that nah. oh, I forget the name of that sketch show back in the day yeah. on Channel 4 but like that oh, guy with the big yeah. yeah Dom Jolly yeah, no, yeah. yeah Dom Jolly yeah 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 <laughs> exactly Jesus Christ what an ignorant oh, fuck bro. anyway oh, totally <laughs> hey, totally um, anyway yeah so I watched it on a laptop screen uh, yeah 14 inch laptop screen on a train right so slightly different yeah. experiences I guess um, slightly different experience uh, yeah, do yeah. you want to get started with your experience of watching this film well, okay well I'll tell you what I'll, I'll tell you what to start with okay this thing I would say this film mm -hmm. on paper I hadn't seen it on pop up on Netflix hadn't been recommended to me but um, it stars Army Hammer yep. who's a pretty big actor Yep. Dakota Johnson yep. who's pretty hot property in a minute yep. um, and we've seen her in Suspiria for example indeed uh, all the, in the uh, Fifty Shades and things she's in all the Fifty Shades films I think she was in some other horror film around oh she was in not horror film but uh, Bad Time at the uh, Bad Times at the El Royale okay which is, which is a good fun film as well so she's got some acting chops Army Hammer I think Army Hammer to be fair uh, has been in a couple of flops right enough which yeah. is probably uh, yeah might not have done his career that much good <laughs> he certainly he was in uh, what would you call it wasn't he he was the Lone Ranger with Johnny Depp and stuff oh was he oh, uh, yeah, I've not seen that I've just well you know I just nah, you know, you know me I'm not a big fan of just that <sighs> sort of shit <laughs> so I've not seen nah. it. I like Johnny Depp but yeah I've got to draw the line somewhere yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah uh, fairly fairly big uh, chops there and as you said the that, uh, the director Babak and Vary uh, seems to have had a hit on his hand beforehand so you yep. would expect going into this yeah, you were going to be on for a winner. Yeah, obviously a difficult film. Obviously, you know, it's like the difficult second album. You're different. Yeah, difficult second film. Um, I mean. What, what, I mean, I'll, I'll start with the good. I'm going to start with the yeah. good. I okay, mean, start with the good. I yeah, absolutely go for it. Go for it. love the premise of it. I think it's tremendous. Um, so, uh, well, basically, the, the main crux of it is uh, Army Hammer works in a bar, um, a pretty kind of downgrade sort of bar, I would say. Um, in New Orleans. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so the main crux of the story is... Uh, there's he's guys he has just like a, a sort of a big bear kind of a friend guy there big big old crazy yeah. drunk bit of a drunk to be honest actually I really I did make a note I loved the uh, lassie he referenced at the start uh, naked somebody I can't remember her name and it just cuts to a completely naked woman playing pool yeah, <laughs> by herself right, yeah. it's like well yeah, this yeah. is a good start <laughs> how well, what, what, what what an oddity this is looking like. <laughs> Yeah, it's good. Well, because they've got a bar policy that you drink for free if you if you get your clothes off. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah. So anyway, a fight breaks out. Um, well, a, a bunch of uh, looks like young students come into the bar, 
um, yeah, of, of questionable age, I would say. Yeah. He uh, makes a very poor attempt at judging their age and serves them. They're kind of come across as a bit cunty. Um, it's nine o'clock here, I can say cunty. Um, <laughs> so they go back to the table. <laughs> or this fight breaks out um, and one of the guys at the table starts filming it. Um, then they kind of shit their bricks and leave but the phone is left behind and Armie Hammer finds the phone and there's sort of messages pinging back it's like I've got your phone blah 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 and then he delves into the photo section of the phone for reasons known best to himself yeah and there is very graphic photos in there of a decapitated head and also other weird murder style stuff and that's when the shit really kicks off i think that's probably about as much as i can say about the plot i mean that is a premise i fucking love i love the idea of that if someone said when that's when that comes when that actually happens when you see him looking through the photos you're like oh man this man this is fucking cool i like this i like this idea yeah um for you did it go anywhere after that <laughs> well no what i would say is um yes i mean up to that point we're all good yeah uh, i one think thing it was I'll pretty intriguing up to that yeah beyond that point i have i mean i have literally no idea what the fuck was going on <laughs> in the rest of the film at all it's indecipherable nonsense yeah um it's, it is Absolutely. littered I, with I, nice I, moments. N- no idea what the fuck was going on. I, none of it made any sense at all. I was constantly confused. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know if there was a much bigger film shot. I don't know. I mean, the kind of theory about it is is that the, <laughs> oh, I can't say too much about it. But the, the, the kids mean, that have the phone have been delving into something <laughs> that they also don't really understand. <laughs> Which yeah, is completely we, compounded we all... by the fact that we don't understand. <laughs> we don't understand anything because we've got no idea what's going on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like there's a whole other film that's happening somewhere else that we're one stage removed from. Yeah, it's it's and kind we've got of, it's no kind idea like, what's going on. It's it, like the it's kids like... that are in it are in another film as well. And if you saw that film, you would know what was going on in this film. Yeah, totally. But you, I... there's nothing that you. There's... <laughs> absolutely no way to know what the fuck is going on in no, this I mean, film for me what it, what it felt like to me it was almost like a six part mini series that had been stitched together but <laughs> yes. someone had left out every like even numbered episode yeah so episode oh, two four and six were just were missing <laughs> It's, it's wild it's absolutely wild it just makes no sense there's like and there, there seems to be multiple storylines going on uh, all the time yeah the hev- like, heavy relationship stuff going on heavy relationship um, stuff going on all the madness with the big dude and like uh, I mean really uh, by the end of it I was like is this actually is the whole film just about Army Hammer being a really heavy duty ar- alcoholic <laughs> <laughs> and that that's why nothing makes sense yeah yeah and it's just total gibberish i mean i would say on the the plus sides for me were, are the uh i think army hammer is actually pretty watchable in it he <laughs> is i quite enjoy dakota, it, jo- yeah, yeah. dakota johnson's watchable um yep yep but they're the script's fucking awful like and it's not it doesn't great. make any sense as well um it's it's shot reasonably nicely although, i think it looks great i think you know i think the yeah, one, yeah. you know the one big plus point is it's like it it did keep me engaged because it was shot nicely and i think you know the vast majority of the characters were fairly engaging i mean um yon 50 shades lassies was was a bit of a like a side thought of a character as well she was basically yeah, totally. she was like a ghost really <laughs> totally it doesn't make any sense like what well, yeah it's really fucking bizarre well, I'll tell you what, right? I'm going to... One thing that I find interesting, just what I'm just, okay. I'm just flicking back so I can see. I took a snap of this, right? Oh, really? Um, like an actual photo? I, yeah, an actual photo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I... Um, now, just... So, a couple of things struck me. Right. Set in New Orleans, but uh-huh. if you didn't read that it was set in New Orleans, it, it, there's hardly any actual New Orleans in it no at all. it could be anywhere 
It yeah. could be anywhere. The the bar in it is freakishly huge. Like it, is. it must have must have been built on a sound stage somewhere. Right? But so I was like, it's kind of weird. Obviously, like I work in location, so I was like interested to see, you know, any time they were actually out and about. There's very sparse scenes actually shot in New Orleans or what looks like New Orleans. And then I watched the whole of the end credits. <laughs> okay. Right. And then right <clears throat> So it's got like you know the, the 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 logo for like you know the film office in Jefferson, which presumably mm-hmm. is over there. Blah blah blah. But then underneath it says, "Made in the United Kingdom with the support of the British Film Commission and UK government's film tax relief." That ex- what? It's it's <laughs> it was a British funded film, right? That it says was made in the United Kingdom. Oh. At the end of the credits, so, so I wonder if they just the, shot. They say it was yeah, the that, that's what it says at the end of the film, and I like. I think maybe they've gone out there, and done a few, exteriors like maybe a week stuff. of exterior shooting, and then flown back over here and shot it all interior for tax reasons. What the living shit! Exactly, that is <laughs> it's, super bizarre. It's utterly mental. Utterly mental. I couldn't believe it. Like I, when when that thing came up at the end, I was like, "What the fuck." Um, <laughs> Jesus. Um, I mean, there's when it comes to horror, it didn't. I mean, it didn't unnerve me very much. Um, I, I don't think. I mean, there's some creepily I think there effective was. I mean, I, whatever, as I see, you know, I really, really, really liked it when he started looking at the photos on the phone. I thought, yeah, you know, a, a different place, a different film there's that a, is a, just it's a stupendous idea yeah um but it it never really i mean there's lots of nice things to like about it um yeah but and yeah unfortunately it, as a whole it's confused at best um boring at worst but i mean i was never actually really bored by it as you say i think you know the the, the, the kind of production values kind of dragged me through it um, and and the hope the hope of the premise of the start of it might be carried through in some way um, but it is I mean what I'll say without giving away the end is if you're a kind of person that needs something explained at the end of it do not watch this film oh man I mean if you need anything explained at all then just go, but I would avoid this film altogether. Yeah, if, if, if <laughs> you know, if you're the kind of person when the end credits roll, you're like, oh, but they didn't really see what was going on. Just stay as far away from this film as you possibly can. It will yeah. infuriate you. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, um, but I mean, yeah, it's as I say, it kept me interested because there were little nuggets of things I quite enjoyed and I, you know I did like his uh, his girlfriend but he, so that's quite a creepy scene when she's like staring at the uh, computer monitor and being sort of sucked into some weird vortex thing and she's like comatose in front of it yeah um, again but there's totally no explanation of what's going on exactly, yeah. <laughs> exactly. but yeah, it's like oh this is freaky and then it's like oh, oh it's just a thing that's happened okay <laughs> so that's yeah. fine I guess I'd quite like to find out what the crack was with this film. Like, it, it just seems, it just seems nuts. Like, I don't. I mean, I think yeah, I, I'm no guessing it's a guy who. I mean, I've not seen his first film, but um, and I, I, I'm presuming it's a, someone is just trusting him to put his vision on screen, and it's it's going to be good in the end. And it's maybe not panned out that way. Um, but you know, I applaud the idea of it without question. Um, and I mean, I think it, from the looks of things, he's like his first one was done so well or been so highly rated that he's just been uh, given carte blanche to do. His yeah, next film. I mean, it reminded me not in content, but of, of of the idea of it. It reminded me of Midsummer. You know, it's um, it's a guy that's gone out and like knocked it out of the park in his first film. And you know, if someone had produced Midsummer to you, if you brought that into a film executive's office, they would like right off the bat, without knowing, any, but they haven't done anything before, they would have told you to fuck off. Let's be honest. Um, yeah, quite possibly, But somebody yeah. has put their faith in the guy to bring something interesting that's going to, you know, blow some minds, and that has worked for Midsummer. It is not really worked in this. No, 
No, it's not. It's yeah, it's not good. It's not. It's not good. This film. I don't like it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know. Well, you. Well, I, I think we're going to come to a slightly different. Uh, yeah. I'm going to. I'm going to definitely not recommend this film. <laughs> no, I mean. <laughs> well, certainly, if you're on a late night train from Birmingham <laughs> to Carlisle. I would recommend that you don't watch this film. I, I'd I, recommend I you just watch like Friends or something. The most confused looking face ever. Like, you imagine my fellow passengers just looking at me going, what the fuck? I'm just hoping there was like someone behind you that like every now and again, their head kind would, of bobbed between <sighs> seats and these kind of vaguely saw scenes of madness, of which there are plenty of scenes of madness in this. Um, oh, it's just well, that unfortunately they're not really joined together. <laughs> there was two sort of, uh, basically Maria and I were sat next to each other at a table and then opposite us, the, opposite us on the table were two like 10 year old girls or something like that. Okay. Um, who were watching an iPad most of the time but I was kind of worried that they would see the reflection mm, of mm-hmm, any mm-hmm. gore or anything on the window but uh, I think, the, yeah, I I don't know. I lost track of everything because I was so that confused. That kind of reminds me of the first time I uh, had my sort of projector system set up here, and um, I think one of uh, uh, I found a neighbour masturbating outside. <laughs> no, that was you. Uh, oh, sorry, you travelled a hell of a distance, but fair play to you. Um, you know, anything for a wee wank. And <laughs> but I, I've got like a I've got a blind on the back window, but out the out the back of us is like um, not tenement flats, but similar. So sort of yeah. about maybe four stories tall, and I was watching um, a film we've covered here before, uh, Frank Hinlauer's Bad Biology, and just halfway through, it was like, I mean, I'd never seen it before at this point, and I was like, this is fucking insanity, and I just realised that my window was c- completely unfettered. <laughs> I was like, man, someone <laughs> might actually call the police if they could see what was going on in here. <laughs> so quickly, so now even when I'm recording with you, because I don't know what you're going to do, you might run around naked, I have no idea. So I shut all yeah, the blinds yeah, yeah. just in case. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I was like, that's, why, that's kind of why I, you know, I, I don't watch stuff on public transport a lot. I usually just listen to my what's uh, headphones or whatever, because um, I, I think I could actually control myself. I'd probably start watching something terrible. And a mother would complain, and it'd be a terrible scene, and I just don't want to go down there. But fair play to you. <laughs> you got involved, like, well, I'll just fire this up on the train, I don't give a mother fuck. Well, I quite like the idea of, like, trying to what do these little Netflix sections in a situation like that, because a lot yeah, of times, yeah, that's, true. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's the, the crack with them. I'm, I, I'm just sort of uh, having a little chuckle to myself, because I'm... A little, a, a little I, what? I, I chuckled to myself. I thought I said chug. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I clicked over onto the reviews on uh, Letterbox for uh-huh. this film, and they're all quite amusing in general. Uh, generally, people say like, "Well, one of them here, uh, I genuinely don't know what the fuck this is about," which is fairly <laughs> succinct. But as someone's pointed out, and this I completely forgot that this happens. But I remember, I now remember it happening in the film, and me just be like, "What? How the fuck?" does that actually get into a finished film he's sitting on the sofa and his girlfriend walks into the house with her keys and the shopping and all the rest like opens the door and walks in and he looks at her and he goes when did you get back like when did you when did you get home and she goes now like and you're like what? he's not even in a daze or anything he's just it's not like he's like he's like what? Did what the fuck am I watching? <laughs> it's like watching the it's like watching the room at points. It is. Like, well, I will admit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolute nonsense. But with like proper actors. Mm. I wonder if they were just like, why? I, I wonder if anyone was actually questioning what was going on at any point. I, I don't I think, think you I could. Just, I think people would you... be embarrassed in, to question it in case that they were. <laughs> oh, maybe it's just like so cerebral. We're missing the point. <laughs> <Totally>. <laughs> But I I don't think that's the case. <laughs> no, no, it's definitely not the case. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Well, like, uh, I think we. So what do we do? Do we give it a thumbs up? I think we're going to give it a thumb rating. This is going to be interesting. I think it's going to be. I'm, I'm going to use two thumbs here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. My my. I I will explain. I think my thumb rating is slightly different from yours. Okay. But okay. Um. My I have one thumb for watch again. Okay. One thumb if I enjoyed it. Right, okay. So that's interesting. My 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 watch again thumb is right down. Yep. 
<laughs> it's like no it's, I, I'm, I'm not insane I'm not going to watch this film again did no. I enjoy it I kind of did in a way I'm going to give it a middle thumb because I thought the concept was great it just wasn't amazingly executed um, but I, yes I would, would I recommend it no no right but I, I, I'm I can't, go for, I can't I like say I can't thumb. say I, like it's, I can't say it's a terrible film because it's not a terrible film it's just a confused film it's absolute nonsense men's no idea what's going on no I mean it's like actually properly you know it's like a, a professionally made film yeah. it just happens to be absolute nonsense yeah I, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with your rating system as well and I'm gonna okay. go uh, I'm gonna go rewatchability uh, definitely straight down <laughs> <laughs> no chance you'd get me to I'm trying to think of a situation that they'd be I think maybe even if I was on a completely abandoned train on my way back that if I was on that exact same journey I had no one with me no company and the only thing I could do was watch this film or sit and look into space quite in silence blankly for an hour and a half, I'd probably do that. Yeah, I, I, I think, I think <laughs> rewatchability <laughs> fact. If, it, if it was the only film on Netflix, I wouldn't watch it. Yeah, no, no. But I mean, don't, I think, let me, uh, don't let me, don't let me, don't let me put you off it. But you carry on. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> did I enjoy it? No, I didn't. Two thumbs. Two down. thumbs down. Two thumbs okay, down okay. <laughs> So I, I think. If, all right. How many thumbs have we got? We've got twelve thumb between us. We've got. Ooh. <laughs> we've got 12 thumb positions haven't we we've yes between us yeah yeah, yeah. so we're given that is that is that 2 out of 12 <laughs> something like that yeah <laughs> 1 out of 1 out of 12 I think 1 1 and a bit I can't remember oh, who knows oh, God. 2 out of 12 yeah we're about 2 out of 12 2 out of 12 like, oh, no we don't give out 5 or 10 it's 12 <laughs> at the captain's horror <laughs> meltdown <laughs> absolute nonsense yeah um, you know I, uh, as I say uh, Netflix so you don't have to I would probably say maybe maybe yeah, maybe don't. don't I think I think I think it, I think that is fair I mean I don't know who the film's supposed to appeal to at all I can't think of any group of per person that the film would maybe someone that was incredibly stoned yeah I think or yeah, that might high be, on yeah. mushrooms yeah, I think that would be a fairly but maybe solid, they solid might bet. be able to get into into it, but I think generally no, 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 no. no. Yeah, I think if you're shooting uh, a film with the object of showing it to people who are a stoned or b shroomed out of their mind, you might want to expand your audience a touch. Yes, uh, it was my only advice to uh, Bobby Canavero, whatever his fucking name is. <laughs> yeah, totally, Bobby Canavero, legend. Um, well, yeah, I mean, well, I mean, that's what we we're hoping to do with this section. Just to, I mean, you know, you pay your money for your Netflix. Yeah, you don't want to waste your time, really, do you? Yeah, you might be a busy I, person. I, we're busy I'm, people. It's like you yeah. know, we don't want to. We don't want to have to have to go through. It. I mean, I hope someone else starts doing a podcast exactly <laughs> like this. Yeah. <laughs> so I can listen yes. to it and go I've only wasted 30 <laughs> minutes of my time finding that I shouldn't watch anything <laughs> yeah exactly exactly um, brilliant alright well I think that's it for this that's we'll, right we'll but I, think, I don't know what we'll we're going to come back else. with I think I'm going to well, fire this out pretty much straight off um, yeah, right. so we oh what what, what? I think we're going to come back with another proper episode aren't we after this uh, yes I think quite possibly I think uh, They Live is in the can um uh, and then maybe after that we should go to your yes Netflix I have got choice. a couple of selections yeah and I think actually I think some of them will have uh, crossed over into yours as well okay so cool, cool, cool we'll see yeah lovely All right. happy days well, uh, thanks for listening I hope that's been of some help um, uh, at the very least we've you, saved you a few hours I, of your life what I would really love is if anyone Ooh. any of our listeners have heard uh, or have watched wounds and think otherwise. Yeah, yeah. Then hit I'm us up. to get in touch. Definitely yeah. hit us up. I, I, I'm, I'm willing to be rebuked at any point. Yes. Uh, and uh, how can people hit us up again? They can hit us up on the Facebook page or in the face. Or in the face in yep, person. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, if you, you see either John or I walking down the street, <laughs> feel free to punch us. Yep, yep. Um, Many or do. Or at. Horror Meltdown Pod. Uh, at horror Meltdown Pod at gmail dot com. Um, yep. The Captain's Horror Meltdown on Facebook. There is a Twitter account by Hate Twitter, I so I've not looked at it. 
<laughs> Excellent. I I follow it. Oh, do you? <laughs> yeah. Can you take charge of it somehow? Oh, okay. I'll, yeah, I think I can actually. Yeah, I'll, put, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll have that, to get I'll a password it. reminder because I have absolutely no idea. Um, <laughs> or you could uh, write to us. Uh, <laughs> send us a, 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 a you know, self addressed envelope, um, stamped, obviously. Um, or you can phone Cammy on 077 832. <laughs> Sorry, that joke's never going to get old for me. I apologise. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, don't, don't for me. Don't for me. Um, Text. Them. Right, okay. We're going to get off our little island here, uh, Dolly and I. We're going to get back in the. Uh, <laughs> it's great when John dresses up as Dolly Parton. It's oh, quite a look. Well, I've got s- uh, and super stuff. We're going to roll tits. back down the stream to, uh, to the boat and uh, get on with our main mission lovely so uh, thanks a lot for listening guys and uh, we'll see you next time on the Captain's Hour Meltdown bye cheers bye